I'm Paul Bennett, the Down East Thunder of Creations here in Millbridge, Maine. We're located along Maine's Bull Coast, not very far from the U.S.-Canadian border. And uh, it's still winter. We had a snowstorm the night before last, but it did go away and it warmed up this afternoon enough where I could come out here and work. And uh, I'm still working on my anchor. Uh, it's, I tacked it together and I've put a few root wells in the uh, you know in the joints I haven't finished doing that yet uh, I don't want to put on I don't want to put too much heat I have it concentrated in any one area because I don't want the uh, the anchor to warp and twist the metal will deflect if I do that so I have to be very careful so I'm just taking my time and I do a few beads here and there let it cool down uh, chip it and wire brush it take a look at it and uh, it's coming right along. In this video, uh, you'll see what I did to tack it together. And uh, then you'll see a couple of the root wells going in. But beyond that, I'm not spending a lot of time on this. Uh, I mean, you watch the whole entire thing as I do all the finish wells because that's sort of like watching somebody do some sanding or painting. You know, you've seen a little bit of it and that's how it goes. And, no sense in sitting through it the whole time. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I think I'm going to a part four now, maybe even a part five, depending on the weather. It's going to snow tomorrow. That's in the forecast, possibly into the next day. So I'm going to wind up my video uh, with this one for this week. And uh, going into next week, depending on the weather, I'm going to fire up my home built forge. And the reason for that is, is that there has to be a roll bar that goes across right here. And when I go to make the bend on the roll bar, the stock is a little bit too heavy to use my, uh, I do have a, a roller or a shaper for doing round bar, but uh, it's too small. It's for like up to quarter inch and that's it. And I'm gonna have to use at least half inch or five eighths. I'm gonna have to get that bend. So I'll make up a jig, I'll get it uh, cherry red in the forge, bend it around the, the, uh, the form, and then I can weld it on here. And uh, then there's a little bit of priming and painting, but then the, the anchor will be essentially finished. So please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell, check out my Patreon page. And I'd like to welcome Sam Reed aboard to my uh, Patreon channel. Sam's my latest patron. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, thank all of you for watching. I have all the parts of my anchor cut out to their proper shapes and sizes. And uh, this is basically how this is going to go. I turn this around like so. And then we're going to put a bit of an angle on it, like this. And then these components here, like so. Uh, you get the idea. That, that builds up. This goes on there, like so. And put these wings up here, like that. Before I start welding, though, what I have to do is I have to prep these parts for welding by grinding a bevel along the edges of the, the mating edges here of the different parts where they're going to go together. I have to have a bit of a bevel and uh, then I'll set them into place and I can tack them up. Well, this is what the uh, job entails, just a whole lot of grinding. I got a little bit more to do on this edge, then do the other edge, and grinding all the other parts. So 
uh, it'd be pretty boring sitting there through the whole thing. It's going to take me a while. And uh, I don't think there's any need to have you sit through it. So as soon as I'm finished grinding the bevels, I'll come back and, uh, and then we'll start fitting up and tacking. And uh, I was going to sell this grinder. This is a big 7 inch industrial grinder, lots of horsepower, uh, made right here in the United States. And uh, you're seeing me use those little smaller four and a half inch ones. They're not going to cut it on this three eighths inch plate. It would take me too long. But uh, this one here, this seven inch, I've had it for years. Uh, I've had it from back in the old shipyard days and ship repair and uh, you know doing a lot of fabrication with heavier metal. And so I'm glad I kept it. I was going to sell it. But uh, I have it. I have a brand new grinding disc on it. So, I'll be back in just a moment.
boy, that's a heavy son of a gun. Oh, this thing must weigh about 50 pounds, pretty close to it. That ought to hold the boat in place. Now I just have to do my finish wells along the seams on both sides on here as well. And uh, once I get that finished up and I clean up the wells, get a nice finish pass on them, I, uh, I still have to make the bow using maybe some half inch uh, round bar. We'll have to bend that. I'm going to have to fire up my forge for that and, uh, and weld that in place. And then it's just a matter of uh, getting a few coats of primer and paint on it. And uh, then I'll be ready. Be good to go.